There aren't many books written about how to raise three genius kids. Well, actually there are, they're just super long. Two ordinary parents. We nurtured their gifts and encouraged their natural curiosity. S'il vous plaît, don't ever go dig a stone. English. But small words. Man, that was dumb. <laughs> Three extraordinary children. I'm developing an opera about Sacco and Vanzetti. I do theoretical physics. I will not be a Salieri in my own home. I don't know what any of that means. <laughs> and the other one. What about this little one? Noses are just mouths that eat smell. <laughs> She's our star. What the hell is going on here? I'm helping Mark with his opera. On the wall? Basement? Basement. They've taken over the whole house. I mean, th this is all that we have left. I used to think this basement is where our kids would sneak down to smoke pot. And now we do. I love them. I don't want them to grow into super weirdos. All I want is one day of normal. All right, so let's do it. We're going to the boardwalk? That doesn't sound normal. It sounds trashy. We live in Atlantic City. Normal is trashy. I think it sounds fun. Is it okay if I bring a friend? Yes. He's got a friend, just like the kids in the movies. All of the kids are actually ready. I even got Mark to wear swim trunks. I mean, he called them water khakis, but whatever, he's wearing them. Hi, Mrs. Bennett. Can I help you? Stew stew. Right, right. <laughs> Yeah. Jason Biggs and Maggie Lawson. He's 200 years old. You're always telling me that I should try and make more friends. People your own age who introduce you to drugs and alcohol. People my own age are boring and vapid. All they do is make penis jokes and Rick and Morty references. God, people his age sound awesome. Outmatched, coming soon. Show some respect. Two of you were conceived at the boardwalk. I am not going to say which two. Under the pier, back of the tram car.